We are back. They missed we us. Are back. We are back. I missed you guys. I missed you. Even though I had an awesome beach every day that? for a week. Yeah, we, that's an awesome picture, by the way. The we definitely have all gone our own ways. So you had a really good time, and it was mm-hmm. cool that you put all out on Facebook so we could follow mm-hmm. you and see you having a good mm-hmm. time and rubbing it in our face. But mm-hmm. Not a little Instagram. No matter for me. I went to Canada. <laughs> you went to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Canada. That's hey, a great Canada. place to go in the fall. <laughs> It was perfect, man. Drew and I made it to Wichita and back. It was like 55. Um, And we got a lot going on, you guys. This got a good show tonight, so let me pause this so I don't have to listen. Anybody watching? Who's watching? Oh, we got a ton of people. Nightbots in. Holy crap. Nightbots here. Yes. Man, gosh. We have 44 people already. We have 26 people waiting before we started. You guys are the best. Welcome to the show. Awesome. So Welcome. thank you. Happy to have you. How are you? Let everybody know. Bravo. Hey, Eric. Wait. What's going on, buddy? Wait, Eric. Eric? Eric? I've been, been, I've at been looking at these coins. He thinks you should be in the next James That's Bond movie as the villain. This is why yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah. And I'm kind of jealous Thanks, that you Tom. look like a Bond villain. Not going to argue. <laughs> <laughs> no, so there's Eric Waite's coin. If you Plus you have Latin on it. it. It is pretty cool. It is That's definitely awesome metal. Coin. Um I really like the WA in the back. That's really good. Um, good yeah. touch. He but did. He did a damn good job. Yeah, I'm these are the that. real deal. These definitely were weapon. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's got Latin on it. See, if you keep this in your we pocket, Latin and you on ours. Pinch, you can take it. You can sharpen it on concrete. You cut your ropes and stuff. You <laughs> hit somebody upside the head. So, so you can escape your bond villain. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's call some people out and see who's on. Let, let me hear who we got on. We've got a bunch. Start of from bottom goes up. All right. So we got. Uh, Kenneth Kennedy is on, uh, Steve A, Everwin, Winelight Media, The Mash and Drum, Jason, Gregor, up, Bob H, Self too. Go Have, Santa is on, uh, Tom Santa Martin Cruising, and uh, Pearl. Down the Pass, great to see you, Perman sir. Perman Shenanigans, he's on? Yeah. Perman yeah. who? Who? Who is oh, that? I God, see. He does all those Perman videos. He's, he's yeah. not going to leave us yeah. alone. Oh, no, no. He's no, an Instagrammer, man. No, I'm oh, an Instagrammer. <laughs> that's why you got to show me about how to do that. He's not a Perman That Instagram live. Bud's on. We know Bud. We had a great conversation with Bud and uh, Spud from Australia on the way to Kansas using our Discord audio in our car, traveling 80 miles an hour, talking to Australia. What was he and at? Like Arizona or yeah, something? Yeah, Bud's out outside of Phoenix, I believe, and, and Spud is on the Gold Coast of Australia. It was just, we it talked awesome. for about 30 minutes or so. It was fun. That's great conversation. Cool. That's Apparently really cool. that Game of Thrones Johnny Walker is not going over too well with <laughs> people who like good. whiskey. Man. I'm going to have a bottle. I'm not buying it, just like on the bottle. But I had a liquor store good. tell me that they're going to have it for $100. It, it'll I'm it'll like, here, are you kidding guys, me? Guys, it'll be here too. Marketing? What? Hey, uh, wait a minute, man. I don't even have anything in so my glass. Oh my I, I'm telling you, it'll what be you want? Tuesday. What, what you want? want? Have it. Oh, what's going on? Hey! hey. hey. Cheers, Cheers, brother. Thank you, sir. Do we need a... Hey, right there. Oh, it's got the... You got your own thing. my own thing. All right, so, Cheers. yeah. Is it time? Wheelhouse. 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 Oh, wheelhouse. It's time to open it. Hey, Eric, I really appreciate it, but uh, more so, I really appreciate meeting you last weekend. We had a really good time. Um, We're looking forward to seeing you into next month. Yeah, had a lot of good conversations about whiskey, drank a lot of good whiskey, and thrilled that this guy survived and made it home, and that you let it let us have this the rest of this bottle. These guys are all going to have quite an experience. I already with. drank it and filled it up with water, but it was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'll be um, It's just colored water now. While I'm pouring, I was going to ask, what's everybody else drinking? What's uh, what's going down out there? Because we are going to talk about Balvini Peat Week here in just a minute. Yeah, we are. 
And you know what's funny? I I had a glass of the uh, Fire and Cane a couple minutes ago. This right. It the the smoke really dissipated on that bottle. I mean, but it kind of faded to the what, point. What that fire that, Yeah, it faded to the point that it, it actually blends pretty nice now. What? Nothing's overpowering. It actually um, is pretty well blended. Uh, but the Balvenie is still punch you in the face. You know, I mean, it's. Have you tried this? Peat wheat. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for that. No, I have not. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't Come be shy, at you. man. Come at you. Uh, um, so I really enjoyed this bottle. Gosh, keep it, um, it, it brings the thunder, man. I want to see I, what everybody's drinking. I like that they swung for the fences. What do we give it? Hey, Lockneys. You and I gave um, it a three. I gave it two. I, I have to do You guys gave five. it a two fives, and we gave it three. That is yeah. super smoky. Yeah. But then it's <laughs> well, it's, it it's odd because you get the smoke up front and then the sweet on the back end instead of vice versa. Cool. Right. Gregor says Roy's video on top five bottles pushed him over the edge and now he's a proud owner of a Glenn going 25. Attaboy. That's Attaboy. right. Attaboy. Way to step up to that one, man. She's All a right. doozy. Bow Beals. Pete Week. Wow. Weird. Right? Took my breath away a little bit. Uh, I know, right? Damn. Well, because you're not expecting hey, it because you're like, right? it's a Highland. It's Balvenie, the the peat and stuff. It's probably not that peaty, but it's I it's was, not the island peat. I was actually just gonna say, say hi to Amy. Live last night with Mash and Drum, For Jason, us. he was said that he was kind of enjoying the peat stuff as a as a bourbon guy, and then now he just posted that sipping Balvenie seventeen right now. See, that's a good one too. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Dream dude is on. That dude has a collection. Oh he bought gosh. a bunch of bottles this week. Hey, guess who else is on? There, I, I see Scotch Test Dummies. Oh, uh, yep. He's in well, the house. I'll be dog. Thanks for coming to Wichita. Hell yeah. Heck yeah, man. We're, We're going to talk about that. Glad to see you online, Bart. I'm sad. I didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go. I did <laughs> We had a Velvet great Elvis. time with those two guys. I'm serious. Both those guys are, were really fun to just. To, to, it was an, an awesome weekend. We'll get to that. Let's yeah. talk about this yeah. this yeah. Balvini yeah. Pete week yeah. and see what everybody else is drinking. Everybody's getting into a little bit of everything here. We're actually, mm -hmm. so, someone's drinking a 14 rum cask right now. This nice. was actually an interesting bottle. We've got love um, that one. We've that actually it's done really well yeah. since we, we launched it on Monday, as far as views. Um, and honestly, I think we've got probably. 20 or so comments on it already. I think it's been kind of a mixture of comments. I, I'm, my yeah. side, I've got, I've got a few people that agree with me as far as it's it's definitely Petey, but there's no Balvenie. Mm -hmm. I'm missing the Balvenie in it, but it's, it's okay. Um, where you guys are saying, yeah, I love the Pete. It's a great Pete. It's a great balance of what Balvenie. I think it's a, it's really, this is one of those bottles where it's really up to you and your palate and what you like. Completely. I mean, it, it can go either way based on what you want to gear it towards. I, to me, I, when I drink this, I think of all of these different distilleries that do these experimental bottles, and a lot of times you're like, yeah, that's just not very good. You know what I mean? Like, I can see where you tried to go with it, but it didn't end up going there. And I know a couple right off the bat, I can think of two on our bar right now. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it, they just didn't live up to the hype, right? This one, to me, if you're going to do an experimental, you're swinging for the fences, and this one they connected... And it's it's Pete Week. There's no doubt about it. This they took a sledgehammer to it. Take me a little while to get used to it. Right? It's it's definitely going to punch you it's, in the mouth. Yeah, it is. It's but they they accomplished what they set out to do. Mm -hmm. They wanted to make a peated whiskey, and by God, they made one. And but it's different though. It is <laughs> it's a different peat. I mean, yeah. I'm sitting here tasting it as we're talking, and I'm getting like a leathery peat as opposed to you know like the, An the, the, the It's not that. dirty. No, it's not. It's it, not it, dirt. It's, it is. It's like a leather and aromatic. It's a it's a different kind of. To me, it peat. reminds me of like a, like a wood shop or something yeah. where you've got like that dry. You know, yes. it, it's not that moist, earthy peat like you get from a Reminds me of like a soldering iron, like that's the smoke you get off of that a little bit it, too. It, it's wood smoke. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's more of that that woodsy quality yeah. rather than the coastal. Yeah, and and it's Man. really different. Um, Keith's but I like it. Man cave as well. Yeah. Nice. Good, right? Well, yeah, that, this was the Highland peat, though, right? This isn't an Isla peat. That's correct. It's, it's that heathery. They talk about that. Right. It's, right. it's we need to do a phenolic. We need the man cave over at uh, this Highland Park. We do. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute too. Yeah. Yeah, it says more earthy, but I'm getting sweet and spicy. Good to see you, Rob. Good to see you, sir. Hey, what's going on up there up north? 
I'm telling you, I'm, man. I, you know, I, I am disappointed that you limit. guys did not hook up. I was looking forward to seeing about that. Oh, I, yeah. was, I, I was know. thinking about I, it. Man, I we were there. We we were you as close like as you could be. Knocking doors. Right? Yeah, I mean, we I was like, I don't know, 20 blocks said, away from where he was doing that that uh, tasting. tasting that night. But we just couldn't, couldn't, make, it couldn't make it. So it happens. Which sucks, like but... Walking distance. I know. The traffic is... Uh, it, was, it, was, uh, it was faster to walk than drive my car. Yeah, that was probably... Uh, so there's that. Uh, but I, I do think that we all need to go up to Toronto and, and hang out with him. Because I think that would be a fun trip. If it's so. anything like our trip or, we just did... Yeah, oh, we, we get him to uh, meet us somewhere like Chicago or Detroit. Oh. Could you imagine... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dip into the last week just a little bit. We, we had such a great time, and... Um, you know, we'll go into more details as far as what, you know, Scott and Bart did as far as the dinner and the tasting and all that stuff was fantastic. But the, the real essence of what I think we picked up out of anything else was just the people the and the conversations. And you're sitting in the hotel and I you're having conversations with people like George and Amy and, and Lana and, and all these different people. And you're having the same conversations that you and I are having. And we're all having the same discussions. And it's, it's really cool. And I think that's what's really kind of setting the, the whiskey industry out right now is people just want to talk yeah. about this and, and figure out what's going on. Yeah, and there's, there's so much going on. Yeah. I mean, I remember walking down that first night, and George Kaplan's down there, and he's got all four of the Lafroy uh, Cardes, and, and he's pulling them out. He's like, here, we need to open these. And I'm like, you, just, you want me to just open this? And he's like, well, yeah. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you asked me twice. <laughs> but I, I was able you to You came to the right four. group of guys. I mean, Come on, I, I was able to try all four. There was so much whiskey sharing. Everybody brought, a, and, and Lana had made a point that of all the whiskey that everybody brought, there wasn't a duplicate bottle. I can't Not believe Not one person that. brought the same, you know what I mean? That's so it was amazing. so cool. Um, and from American whiskeys, some bourbons, a shit ton of scotches. Dimple pinch? No dimple no, pinch. No. <laughs> we had the 18, which we did. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, what else you did we do? You should brought the dimple pinch 18. Um, well, Elijah Craig was that Elijah Craig? Yeah, that was definitely an. Experience. Who brought that bottle, Scott? Scott, Scott that, tell that, me that, what that, uh, series that was. Yeah, what series was that? Because that was was it in the new of, bottle or was it in the old bottle? That's their bottle of Wow. I have that was the no old bottle idea. Then. I know that I, we basically try Scott to it comes out. It comes out three times a year. So well, yeah, but I don't know how old it was. Yeah, it's all good. January in Ontario. <laughs> it's just fantastic. I don't know about that. Man, we're cool. I got you. Mark probably won't come, but I'm not <laughs> too, scared. Too damn cold. You can be inside anyway, man. Yeah. It's like going to Vegas in the summer. You can be inside drinking whiskey. Who cares? There it is. The C9. The bottling C. That was a 917. Okay. Batch C. Gotcha. You're right, Graham. And, and that was what last weekend was really all about. Um... We had a couple of good <laughs> meals. The, the the second night, the location that we did it at, what was that? Everything Barbecue, was that was the name of it? All Things Barbecue. All Things What a cool yeah, place. A great concept, too. Yeah, really cool. Um, I, there was a time, everybody brought that. You can bring your own in that place. You should place. follow That's them on, cool. uh, <laughs> uh, really? uh, you, yeah. they, they're YouTubing, too, right? They have yeah. like 200,000 subscribers or yeah, something. Yeah, they're doing classes on how to barbecue yeah. and how to, how to oh, smoke and stuff. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, that's oh, good stuff. No. I know how to barbecue. <laughs> Huh? Sean, I, I you missed a good Oh, there it is. Nice. We got a new... Hey, Whiskey and Six. Hey. I, got new, I got a new smoker coming to the restaurant on Wednesday. He nice. went big. Thanks, Rob. You were the man. Uh, Sean, uh, Rob. Uh, look at that. Appreciate I'm, it. I'm pretty <laughs> sad that I missed out on that one. That was a 41-year-old <laughs> Canadian whiskey. Uh, is that what you they mad? were reviewing? You yeah. look at it. You mad? Yeah, I'm sad that I didn't get to try that. That's cool. That is. Came home with one of those. Sweet. We came home with all kinds of stuff. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed the, the coins that are down here. We wanted to make sure everybody saw these. So here is the coin that was given away for attending last week's weekend's yeah. events awesome. uh, from Scotch Test Dummies. And then we also get a chance to meet Wes from the Proper Pour Whiskey Club out of Denver. Um, Great guy. Colorado. Is he ever on here? You know, I don't know if I've ever familiar. seen him on, on, on this show. I know he's obviously on, he shows up on Scotch Test Dummies mm -hmm. um, chat and stuff. But awesome guy. Brought a ton of whiskeys to try. We actually have a couple of samples that he he shared. He gave us four of these that we'll get into here 
Maybe not tonight. I don't know. But these yeah. are the Stranahan mm-hmm. Snowflake 2018, which I don't even think they're mm-hmm. released yet. Oh, yeah. um, but we didn't <laughs> oh, have a chance yeah. to sample this. We <laughs> wanted to get yes, a proper uh, review on them. Oh, you haven't released it yet? You got a sample of it? Yeah, he went to, to some special event at the distillery. Wow. Is Travis on here? Can we yeah. do one of these? Or do you want to do yeah. one of those? Travis, you're Travis on. Travis is on. I say we Travis put it to on? Travis and ask him which one we should get into. Um, I know which one I want to hit. <laughs> I want to drink that. Well, okay, so then, Sean. We're going to start a new. Well, I'm um, not saying we have to. I'm a regular uh, episode for our lives, where we will be. We'll first hit the bottle that we review this week, and then we'll hit one of the samples. Now, most of these we'll samples are sample. things that are. And we'll hit the samples of ones that are kind of unique bottles. They're things that we can't that you know you can't get anymore. And people have been kind enough to send us to us. Like this 21-year-old Jim Jones. Oh, oh, hey. oh, you have to do that? Oh, <laughs> man. Thank you, nice, sir. Man. Appreciate it. You're absolutely Cheers. right. Bring us all together, Whiskey. Yep. Yeah. Cool house. Amen so so that's that. the, the cool thing here. Thank you, sir. And you guys Cheers. shared this week is everybody that was at the event this last doing? weekend. Oh, I think so. It's just Unless like Travis us. Overruled us. We just go on YouTube with it. That's exactly right. Exactly I'm with right. Travis say. All the conversations we were having with everybody else was the same conversations you and I have had before. It's just that we, we just share the journey with everybody else in the world. So I mean, that's the only difference. I mean, it's great talking Natural to everyone. Color, great years. people. Um, and it's so much, I mean, they make us look like true dummies. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. So smart. That's correct. So they're the so Snowflake smart. is a distillery only. You know what? Have it's to go all to relative. Because mm-hmm. I talk to people all the time at work and... I mean, Trust me, you're not a dummy. professional. <laughs> the Travis, <laughs> Travis said drink them all. <laughs> Done. Okay. You're talking to the I, wrong I bar. Work tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, I do not have to work Bob tomorrow. is asking what well, bottle this is. You're absolutely right, buddy. You make a Bob, this is Drew's Maybe. first SMWS purchase. Drew is now a card-carrying member I as of member. last week. What? And I don't have a card this, yet. This was his uh, the bottle that he <laughs> purchased. I got whiskey two it's days 63, later. 63, 49, an 11-year-old... Um, Refill butt ex so space side. So look up 63 if you guys really want to know what um, distillery it is. I think it's awesome. We're gonna have. I think it's Talkers. Is that right? Yeah, Glen Talkers. Um, Let's open that up. It's time to crack them. Do it. Okay. So did you put that in front of the camera? I have not. So let's talk about this. I kind of did. So, so this, see, this is a Travis so sure Fairclough bottle, it. and let's talk about this while you guys are getting in this. I had to clean my glass out anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, you got water? Last Hold week, yeah. Camera, if you could. Last week, we, we show up at Bart's oh, house to do a, a review. Yeah. Scott had said, hey, come on by. I want to get a review with uh, all of us. And so we get there, and they got a bottle picked out, and it's this... Uh, it's good. one day shy of 18-year-old Highland Park yeah, bottled by there, Abbey there, Whiskey. Right on. How did they come by the bottle? There you go. There you go. One Perfect. Mr. Travis Faircloth sent it to him. So we got to review Beautiful. the bottle with Good. the test yep. dummies, and right. I took a picture and sent Vanna. the picture Vanna on Vanna Facebook White. Messenger. I'm like, hey, Travis, look what I got. Because like, <laughs> he's the one that sent it the, to Oh, the Abbey? Yeah, it was just oh, so was cool. Awesome. It was like a, you know, it came full circle. That's awesome. awesome. When you're releasing that video, Scott, that's, I'm looking sport. forward to that one. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> Problem is, it's gonna be a neck pour, so it's not really. He's gonna have a fun time editing that one because it went really long. Wait a minute. Yeah, for cool. I just want. There's still a whole other bottle, man. Right, calm down. Okay. I don't want to lose that though. So what we're drinking here? This is it? Yeah, no. big guy. Oh man. Oh, oh my gosh. Twenty-one. I got so there was some chatter on the Discord server today about uh-huh. Glendronic. Yep. And there was a few people that only had you know maybe one or two expressions, and my comment was, they're all good. But if you can get a single cask, <laughs> they're even better. That cask strength. If you can uh, get one of those older single casks, they are ridiculous. Right. So I got to finish this Pete Week real oh, quick. Oh, I was still in man. college with this bottle. That's what I'm talking about. PX Travis. Sherry Punchin. So did we describe this fully? What's the, uh, what's the ABV on so, this thing? 53% Yeah, it is. <laughs> Blend single cast, 1994, uh, PX, six. Sherry Punchin, cask 339, bottle 63 of 547. <laughs> you got that right, Whiskey Scout, the better half. Mm. You guys pour that already? Yeah. Only no, you and I have. Left. You and I are going to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to get a paper yeah, the towel. 12 and the 18, we didn't, I don't. The 18. Oh yeah, the all, all dice, right? But the 12 yeah. is 
That's like, I, so, I, I think I have that much left in my bar, and that will oh buy another bottle. It's so freaking good. See, Whiskey Scout only thinks he met the better half because I haven't poured it. December 22nd, 1994. <laughs> I literally had just got back from Turkey, from a tour in Turkey that I was, I was in when I was in the Air Force. I was in Turkey for five months, and I just got back in country like two days before that. Oh, hell yeah. And dude. they distilled this bad boy. And then they bottled it in 16, natural color. Oh. Part of batch 14 release. Can you give me a napkin, please? Everyone say hi to Lee in the chat. She just hi, joined. Lee. Hi, Lee. Hey, Lee. Cheers. Oh, my God. This is like the second... The second Who's LSU got this better. week? <laughs> what? The second one is even more sherry. I mean, it's like... It just keeps coming, man. Bomb. <sighs> that's ready? a yeah, that's a big, beautiful... Right there. Oh, you want to dry out? Yeah. Raisins. Yep. Deep ruby fruits. Those plums. It's going to be a sherry night. Prunes. Right now. Man. There's a little fig in there. I was just gonna say fig Newton. Yep. Yep. It, it's with, got, even with the little all bread. All yep. With the breading, the shortcake. Ooh. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> it's way fig better. Newton. It tastes way better than a nose's. Man, this is like this is like uh, the nose is great. <laughs> the nose is phenomenal. <laughs> once you've uh, tasted it's like it. walking through the flower and patio show mm. and getting just all this flower. Well, I, I don't know how you get. 53% ABV, and you don't get any alcohol burn on it. So floral. Maybe because it's been tw- in cast for 21 years? I don't know, but no. it's awesome, dude. For your glasses. <laughs> I, I get all I your glasses. They're seriously. right here. You know, last week, somebody, <laughs> I, last weekend in Kansas, somebody, I, maybe it was Tom, somebody literally calls me, and they're like, Mark, would you take your glasses off and do the thing? And I'm like, what is this? I'm a, you I'm have a, the do thing. the thing. I do the thing. You got, you got the like, love thing, and yeah. you got the chew thing. I know. It's get in the you. hamster wheel and run. Run, I said. Oh. <laughs> Bark like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, wheels, stay on. Right. Um, yeah, let's keep this. Oh, so man, I this smell the fig so big time. I, I definitely fig get new uh, like you just open that package of fig. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fresh open. It's like it's like the first um, whiff out of a peanut butter can. I mean, we open a bottle. We open yeah. a bottle of peanut butter. It's that first whiff is the most potent. Yeah, yeah. First whiff of fig Newton right there. It almost smells tingly. So, you know, oh. I will have It <laughs> smells tingly. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, can something smell tingly? I think like it does. Climbing the this, rope and this you smell that? <laughs> this, this tastes red to me. Exactly. <laughs> this is good. I love oh. it when it smells red. Hey. Oh, oh, he took it. Hey. He, he totally sniped it. Everybody else he was, was just waiting sitting there. And he was like, yeah. yeah. Scotch for dummies. We're... Cheers to that, bro. <laughs> Hell, I can't Slotcha. argue with that. Well, Slotcha, guys. Slotcha. Scott sniped it. <laughs> there you go, Scott. He's not stupid. To you, Man, I'm getting like uh, Earl Grey tea and leather now. Yeah, it's definitely getting le- more leathery. It's got some Less of those tannic tea. qualities coming through. It's nice. That's that, that drying mouthfeel that comes after mm-hmm. part of the finish. That is a delicious dram. Holy crap. Scott, you would love this one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Not to rub it in your face or anything. but He's know, probably Scott. got some. I'm, he, I'm, behind, <laughs> yeah, I'm behind that bar. I guarantee he has a bottle of this somewhere. Wow, that is it, so good. It's full on. So that, pa- that finish hey, is just lingering. Leathery, fruity, uh, see, fig. I wish I could... Uh, I could Crazy. afford, and I had a, a stock of this oh, to drink. I mean, this would if, if this was my every night this drinker. This is a dessert. I know. Right after all I want, sweet. all yeah, I want's really one before the yeah. nightcap. You know, yeah. yeah this is that one, one you're going to pour every day. Mm. No, this is this is that one. I'm going to have a glass of this. So it's, it is like almost nice dinner now. Like we don't know what Mark drinks by himself down in his basement. Every yeah, does he have booze down there? He won't tell us. I've heard. That's the rumor. Let's just be clear. We'll see everybody. tomorrow. We'll find out. I don't know tomorrow. if he does or not, so I'm going to bring us some booze tomorrow just in case. <laughs> oh, really? What kind of booze is drinking it right now, too, with us? I'm, I don't <laughs> doubt that, Scott. I really don't. So tomorrow's a very special Thanks, day. Thanks, Richie. It Richie is. Oh, yes, it is. Tomorrow is our neighborhood Halloween party, which yeah. means two things. First thing... We're going to be shooting our annual Halloween video in We're costume. All dressed up. Even if you've Even never seen 80s. our Halloween videos, they're lots of fun. Know, crazy. Son of a bitch. He Number two, <laughs> we, we get let into the sanctum. It ain't, it ain't all that. You can hear the car. Oh, here's my scotch. And we, we pound it. <laughs> so I'll bet he hides someone. I'll let oh, you guys He's, he's got some, some closets uh, down there. Back in college, my roommate taught me a very valuable lesson. He Put away your good a, shit. He used to keep a <laughs> CD rack. <laughs> 
basically, yeah. You keep a CD rack filled with cheap crap music oh, right Lord. by the door so Sorry. that when people come over for the party and they want to leave and they feel like taking something, they take the stuff you don't Sorry. want. So I put all my scotch out in the front. You know, you look and you, you see all the stuff that I want you to drink. Everything else is selectively placed way in the back. Mark you can't live with pinch and this new white water. Yeah. <laughs> Black you velvet. You freeze it, it has a cool thing that says winter is coming. Clan McGregor, it's all for you. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, Dark eyes uh, scotch. Oh, man. <laughs> this is really, really, really good. I know. But... All good things must come to an end yeah. while I move this on to the next stuff. bottle. So, so is, there, no, there's still I was just going to ask no. you, um, Travis, is this still available? Where, what are we looking at? Um, obviously, second, maybe third market, right? It's, but have, do you know where some of this is, if it can still be acquired? And if so, what did... What did uh, How many kidneys do we need to yeah. provide to get one of those? Mm-hmm. We've... It's like we can do five. It's like you have to <laughs> hold my own kid hostage, put a ransom out, and get my wife to pay for it. So, I don't know. <laughs> so it's interesting, you know. That I would say this is normal. I have this a is, particular set of skills. This is my non-peated <laughs> wow. wheelhouse. Non-peated wheelhouse because it's got those deep fruits and everything, but it's almost too sweet. What? You're gonna say? Yeah, I, 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 I couldn't. Dr- I couldn't drink more than one gram of this because it is rich so sweet so rich i'm going to save unless he wants it um I'm, it's so rich and so sweet that i think that sweetness helps tame down the alcohol in it at 53 percent but you don't feel that at all it just wrong glass just, there that's the way it goes. so <laughs> this is one of those that i love to taste but i don't know if i would have it in the bar because I, well, I, yeah, I would have it on the bottom. I was what just going to say, wait a minute. It's like an after dinner drink. This is exactly. Uh, oh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, did he just take the. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Comes in like a man. He just comes in. <laughs> he, he put a hurt on Scott, but. So, thanks, buddy. No, well, cheers. Thank you. Cheers. You know what? Before I forget about this, I wanted to talk. So, last night I'm texting with Bob. Bob was in oh. Miami for work. Bob, I'll give a little bit of your travel plans away here. He texts me a picture. He's in Miami, checks into the hotel, goes downstairs, and needs a dram. Hey, everybody. I did a video on it, right? What's he end up with? Oh, the best thing they got is McKellen 12. Whatever I'm going to get. Right. It's only 16 right. bucks for McKellen 12. That's actually part of the worse, right? On the receipt, and he texts me a picture of it. I can show you. They charge him $2 extra because he got it neat. Yep. What? I've heard about that. <laughs> I've heard about that. Man, I'd slap somebody. I swear to God, I'm what? like, dude, I would talk to somebody, but I'm like, well, if unless they poured, if they poured a bigger pour. Look at that shirt. I don't know, because there's some some places will put down neat, but what they're what they're doing is giving you a double, because oh. you're getting it. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, and if uh, that's why I said so I would ask somebody or anything, because I've that's, never seen that. I, I've, I've seen places seen. So that did that. If you guys have seen that, chime in because he sent a text, yeah. but text and I'm like. I've heard That's of that just before. messed up. You know what's messed up? <laughs> Both those cameras are lit up. Yeah, that means somebody else is on the other end of one of those other right. cameras. Right? I, think, I think Drew's working some magic. Okay. So we'll let him <laughs> out. Too. But uh, oh, that bad. that is probably why they charge you two bucks. So if you got a double for two bucks, I guess that's not so, so that's bad. That's a good deal, then. <laughs> right, so days. if you got a double for 18 all right, on a yeah, match, that's well, a good deal. That's, you know, that's, I, I, and if I'm the bartender not... didn't know what he's doing, maybe you got a triple, I don't know. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you see your. You Which see obviously, rock. I need to go to Rick's and have some. You, right? Old Forester. Yeah, yeah. if you're, if you're in the indie bottle. marketing, you want bourbon. Uh, Old Forester birthday is on my bar right now. Wow. Mm. But Bob says, in his mind, a mm. poor is a poor. A poor should be a poor. And yeah. I kind of, I mean, that's the way it I is agree. in Scotland. Damn, they measure it. I mean, they're yeah. like, they get a little measuring, and it's like, that's what you're getting. Yeah. So I, I do believe that um, we have a guest on the show right now that is drinking the same stuff with us. This? Should we, well, it's all should gone we bring now. him in? All gone. Of course he is. I don't know. I guess it depends. There on he is. It is. Is it Bart? Hey, oh. Is it's it Bart? Bart. <laughs> hey, Bart. He's got a very stylish yeah. shirt on, too. <laughs> the other what shirt does he have on? Oh, ah, it's a nice looking shirt there, my friend. So, Look at that. Cheers, you brother. know, I do have one regret uh, from last weekend, Scott, What's and that? that was that we never made it to your bar. I, I noticed you never brought it up. You know, Bart was really accommodating and inviting us to his, but <laughs> Scott never I- invited us over to his place. He, 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 Actually, I, I invited you to Bart's bar. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. 
That was pretty good. You did. That's very true. That's all right. If you make it out here, Mark's going to invite you to my bar. <laughs> well, and the thing is, though, why we did that on Friday when you came into town was the main highway, Highway 54 or Kellogg going through Wichita was mm-hmm. shut down. Um, starting Friday night through the weekend as they finished. They had a, a big uh, expansion that they did out west, and there was big detours set up and everything to go around it. So I even hated driving back through there on Saturday to get to the, the hotel and the events for Saturday. Right. Uh, it was awesome. I mean, it was cool got to hang out at Bart's Bar. And actually, we got to see the other side of Bart. You know, must be, sorry. We got to see the other. We got to see the other half of Bart, where he's got his game out and his game table, where he does his game, you know, board game reviews. Uh, he had a pretty cool game laid out. I mean, it, it looked a little confusing, but definitely that's why like somebody he, needs to review it. Absolutely, that's what he <laughs> yeah. does. Yeah. But he's got a nice setup, a great, great way to you place to video and record. I mean, a nice bar. The game and, looked pretty cool too. Yeah. Actually, I mean, I, I don't see how he does it though. His brain, he's so smart. Like the, the rules must take him like. It would take me a month. It takes probably a day interest. or two, but it's like, geez, I can't do that. That's too much thought. For right. <laughs> this game's like seriously. He well, sometimes he doesn't read all the instructions either. So. <laughs> That's when it's really fun. <laughs> What's <laughs> these pieces for? <laughs> Play by the seat of <laughs> well, I do want to say, Scott, thanks for having us last week. A great host, great event. Uh, I talked to a lot of people in the lobby and the hotel bar and everything. It was it was awesome. Super great jealous job. I didn't make it. Yeah, yep. I, I know these guys wish they could have been there, but thank yeah. you. Salute. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. I don't know what your what's your afterthoughts. You know, now that you're done and you can look back on it, I don't know. Maybe you're Relax still not done. Wait, maybe you're still your... making payments on something. I have no. But you know, you look back and, and the dust is settling. Do you? What? Yeah. What's your favorite part of the weekend? Well, yeah. Thanks to you guys, first of all, for coming back. I know that was a good trip for you, and um, I, I really enjoyed meeting you, hanging out, getting to know you a little bit better. And Saturday, your video. Uh, that we shot for you guys was was kick a i thought that was a great concept and i thought it came out really well too the uh the johnny walker gold yeah and it was fun out, basically yeah that Thanks. was cool it was a twist it was, was just you something. guys scott and bart and ben and, and eric, eric. Right. right and eric. so i didn't yeah, participate right. i kind of tried to moderate right, okay. i mean we wanted to uh, we knew that we had to show up with some whiskey right everybody's bringing whiskey right. but i wanted to do something with it, it i was, wanted it to was have all mark's event. idea because we saw the thing was, we saw the Centenary blends in that uh, Plainfield, the new store over there in Plainfield. And we're mm-hmm. like, oh, we got to get those. And he's like, you know what? Let's do an 18. Because you've always talked about the 18s in comparison. And Johnny, as, as a fan of Johnny Walker, they're confusing the crap on yeah. me. Why do you have three different gold box labels yeah. on the shelf at the same time? Right. You know? And it's so... It was fun. It was cool, and and it, obviously it, the banter was good to have all five of you guys That's on the panel. That's the greatest part. Again, <laughs> it's the talking yeah. about. It's yeah. the best part. Well, West is it, I mean, it was funny. Is it? West Jolly. It, yeah. it was funny. Ben was like, "Well, I, I hope this is only entry hey. level. This is really not very good whiskey. I, I, I hope I hope <laughs> we're, I hope people aren't paying a lot of money for this. I mean, I'm thinking like thirty dollars a did, bottle. He did say I'm glad to buy this bottle. <laughs> <laughs> That tell us how you really yeah, feel. Yeah, 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 you can tell. So that was, and that was one of the best comments we'd be getting. It, it's like, man, Ben knows his stuff. Ben like, knows like, oh, this is a forty percent grain blend. Yeah. I can tell. I think I, mean, he, I like, think he took a sneak peek. He's like, where are you guys going? Like, okay, I got this. Because he was on it. He was directly. But I, on. I will be fair. Obviously, I knew what we were drinking, but I had no idea the order. Oh, so. right, that's true. No, Ben. Ben's got a. He, you know, he's definitely got some experience on it. He's not. You know, I I talked to him about it. it. Oh, let's crack some samples. Yeah, we got to press the. Well, we, what's are, next? Are, are we gonna do this tonight, or are we gonna do this? No, we're no, gonna, no. We're no. It for review. What's the request for the samples? We need to drink crack them open. Which ones? Anybody yes. Want? Well, we did uh, just. Hey, just real quick. This Saturday will be. We did uh, before you guys got there. We shot a review with Ben on the What's new on? Scotch Malt Whiskey Society blended peat, uh, oh. which is the oh, peat yeah. fairy. fairy. So that'll come out this Saturday, and then next Saturday we'll push out the uh, Anon Seventeen that Travis sent that we shot with you guys. So, and I haven't got a, a glimpse of what? that yet, but I think it turned out should should have turned out real good. I don't think they didn't tell us about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you didn't know about that, did you? Yeah, we, we I, I know about that. You've been busy, man. 
<laughs> we learned a lot that day. It was, it was actually a really cool day. I had a great day. That day. <laughs> He's so we should, whiskey um, without me knowing. We should crack these what? up because Wes is on right now and right. he sent these his samples. Yeah, my glasses. What, are they? what are they? My glass is empty. It's so. the Stranahan's. So it's a Stranahan's American whiskey. No flake. Is it water? So this is the 2018. Hey, you want to try some regular Snowflake. Stranahan's before we try this? Because I got some on the bar. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think what? that's a perfect what idea. We do, um, <laughs> what, what's that? Hey, okay. Oh, holy. Holy. Oh, wow. Good Lord. Is this that? a double whammy? It is a double whammy. Just wait a second. Hang on a second. Graham, congratulations, Salancha. Thank you for, for the uh, super chat. There's the other one. Oh, oh, KB. oh, KB just took it back KB over. Does not like to not oh. KB does not like to not be Salancha. KB does not like to be Salancha. Not the Salancha. Yeah. He wants to be the Salancha. I haven't had boss. this one for a minute. Mm. This is actually a good buy. All right, so so we've got a couple of these going on here. So this is a, a yeah, I want Stranahan's uh, barrel 12-1178 from, what year is this? This is a special bottling for confine wine and spirits. Oh, so this isn't a typical no. Stranahan's bottling. Okay, so, yeah. man, we almost, I almost want to save a, a, a small bottle and send a bottle of this back to Wes of this. So That's this good. Is, this is because this is different. 94, sure. 47% ABV. I think Chad brought that over. We got just about to try a little sift. Yeah, hold on a second. I, I'm, I'm finishing that. Guy. So what what we got going on, you guys? Yeah, Wes just got on. Um, is that a snowflake? Scent? Yes. These are these are, the, are samples that Wes gave us out in Kansas City last weekend. Um, he brought a couple different strand of hands. He brought one that was a mammoth bottle, right? Mm -hmm. It was a damn weapon. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Like, this is snowflake. Was it that? Yeah, that was this. That's that's what this is. But the one that we sampled when we first got to Bart's, it was a smaller bottle. I, Wes, you'll have to tell the story if you feel like typing it out. But um, all you wrote on here, so if you can give everybody else more information, this is Stranahan Snowflake, uh, number 18, Mount, Mount Evans, I believe. Um, give the, uh, the ABV, if you will, I've already killed this on that. I remembered how good this was. So well, we met. Colorado we met with Wes. He is uh, a proud member oh, of the good. Proper Pour Whiskey Club but out of Denver, a... Colorado. Store um, mm -hmm. so and they're a pretty cool a whiskey bad. club. Actually, they do quite a bit. I mean, they get together. I want to say, nice, if man. I remember correctly, once a month, and they review nine whiskeys. It's a four-hour event. We call At, that Thursday. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're, we're, we, I think we'd fit right in with the club. Almost that's four-hour event. Yes. <laughs> So, Scott, do you have some uh, bourbon you can drink with us? What are you drinking right now? Does he have bourbon? Mm -hmm. uh, Scott, I still have the, uh, <laughs> what is it, in the dark of the abyss, the 11-year-old Glen Talkers. Oh, you opened yours? Scott's trying yeah. to figure out why yeah. Drew asked him to drink bourbon with him. Scott. <laughs> well, it's his fault. I mean, he kind of showed me the wow. Yeah, he did. <laughs> well, two, well, yeah, two things. What would a dummies event be without a bottle of wow? And Zima. Oh my gosh. I, I can't, can't believe, believe Zima. you bought the bottle. I haven't had that in years. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. Good stuff. I'm passing right. out marzipan at our five year. <laughs> so Wes is talking. Yeah, so yes. this, that's what this is. It's that 1.75 bottle of so Mount right. Evans. Yeah. It's 47%. Yep. Um, it gives it that like straw kind of thing. So I want to just taste a, a quick sample of what you've got there. I, just, yeah, so, so if you want to say something for. Um, I want to hey, save Mike, some from West. Yes. Mike, yes. Proud of uh, Drew and Mark for uh, their thoughts on the bottle of Wow. I I I watched the video of what you posted. So what you didn't see was I, at the barbecue place. Me sneaking out. Well, maybe I don't care. I'm on camera. You did that. sneak yes, out. Yes, there got, is. I'm the freaking poor that. <laughs> you know what, Scott? I mean, I think I owe Bart a, a debt of gratitude for that one. I, honestly, had he not prepped me a little, you know, he they really kind of stepped nice. back from me, and I, it, it made the the first sip enjoyable. I think had I not gone through that, that's that the C nine one seven, right, Scott? Right. It, that, yeah. that, that's yeah, a, that's the bottle there. That thing got killed just Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. It didn't last <laughs> <very long. laughs> that's what I'm well, talking it was, it was about. Interesting See, I don't think I ended up getting one of the C's for. 17. Well, Bart, so, so Bart was I had the B517, uh, but I didn't get the C517. Bart was hooking up C9 with uh, Mark on the neat, and I was with uh, Scott on the, the water down, which Bring for me was perfect bro. because it really, Dude, it, it was hot. Yeah, it, it's hot. They were good. But, uh, you know, you had the whole, what is this, the saliva spit well, thing. Well, uh, I ended up watering it because I, 
I figured out what I like, you know, where I want it. And, and water, to me, I can get it there and keep it there. I don't have to go through the process of going, trying to work up a loogie every time, you know. I, what you, so, <laughs> don't loogie it down. That's not what Bart meant. I don't think that's what Bart meant. All right, so, <laughs> so we poured the snowflake already. Wow. Yeah, so we're, so where are they? Where's the other one at? There's one right one? here. There's There was four of them, actually. Have you poured that one in somewhere? Or no? I did. I already drank You drank one. yours? Okay. We can pour all the glasses to pass. I just want to sample this real quick just for a comparison. So I, I tried this strand of hands, and what I got out of it was wheat. Clearly, it's a wheat-based. Out of this? Yes. This. There's okay. a lot of wheat in that blend. Again, this is not scotch. This is not my wheelhouse. Give me a napkin, please. It is a Colorado whiskey. Thank you. I got it. I got bottled, it. I got it. Uh, 47% ABV. I don't know the, the uh, mash bill. Wow. If, if, I, if others know, please let me know. I don't know. Scott, Wes you know might. That, but I'm definitely getting some weed in that. Wes is close, and he's, uh, you know, I think he frequents uh, the... Uh, Stranahan's is actually single malt. All of it? Yes. Uh-oh. I believe so. Well, I, I can tell you this is this is fire. <laughs> so yeah. that, Snowflake so is So that original, awesome. I, I could have yeah. sworn it was weed, but... Right. I would like, totally drag again, my kids into the Colorado distillery to get another bottle of that. <laughs> so now, now the snowflake it's pretty it smells mark. completely different. Than the, this is an old bottling, too. I think, I think Scott kind of poisoned me a little bit on the bourbon thing. So this <laughs> isn't bourbon? <laughs> no, it's Colorado, Colorado whiskey. whiskey. This is Another yeah, thing I did see on that video. Oh, this like is it. single malt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly. I And Wes corrected me on that. I was like, you know, this is, I actually, this doesn't smell like a typical bourbon to me. He's like, well, because it's not. It's malt. And I'm like, well, there we go. Oh, yeah, all right, Wes. I'm <laughs> it's American malt whiskey. That's Another thing really that nice. I was impressed with is that well, this, this is completely different. The uh, Heaven Hill Six Year, the Heaven you know, Hill, which is right down there. I, know, I brought yeah, that. I know, I Holy so. shnikes, dude! Yeah. That was a lot of purchase. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she enlightened yeah. us on that. That's good stuff for you. So you know what's funny? Is you guys come around to this stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I got a bottle of that. It's kind of like been sitting down there for two years. It's kind of like Scott telling Bart about his wireless system, uh, but you know. Why would I listen to you? I don't know, man. <laughs> You're a dummy. So, I know. So this snowflake is completely different than this bottle right here. This has weed in it. I'll guarantee you it. Uh oh, we have a girl. Oh, it says, it says on here, um, exclusively with exclusively with Colorado grains. It doesn't say malt. All right. Okay. Somebody go to bottle. Uncle Google. This is Colorado whiskey. This there was is a big difference in place. Completely yeah. different. I'm telling you. This is, uh, yeah, this, this is outstanding. The snowflake. The snowflake's malt. delicious. The, this is good. Is, this too. Gonna be, is it going to be the available everywhere or right. just at the. No, mm-hmm. the snowflake. I don't know the story exactly, but I know that, and, and Wes can tell it, but maybe Bart knows too, but he had to stand in line for this thing and he. Because it's not out yet, right? Right. This does so not when it comes out, I don't know the whole story. So hmm. this is okay, distillery. Right. I know that. So, the, yeah, distillery release only in the Dece- first part of December is when they do the snowflake. Okay. The yellow label that you have there is their youngest whiskey. I believe it's three years old. Next up is the black, or what's this? Yeah. The Diamond Peak, and I believe it's four years old. The snowflake is older and different. They do some different finishes with it as well, I believe. Which, so so which, you could have different wine cask influences on the snowflake. But, okay, so the which fact that... This, all malt, uh, but how does Wes have I'm this? Sure. If it's not re- released until December, Wes was uh, able to acquire some because he went to the distillery. They had the... the the, the special event for yeah. the cask, right? Mm-hmm. Is that it? Or? Well, they haven't done this one. I bet you it'll probably be the night would be considered the 19 release. Snowflake is based strain of hands. So that was last last cast. December. He went to the distillery, stood in line. Oh, the day before okay. That. And that's why it's labeled 18 because it was released last December, which it was December yeah. 17, which would be an 18. Okay, I get yeah. it. Yeah, so this, I mean. That's really good. Which one's the let's, silver let's talk, label? Talk about Scott, do you know that? I'm not. Silver, that's the snowflake. Yeah. Silver. And that's, I was looking because the only one I have I saw that at Jungle Gym. The cherry cask one, and it is single malt whiskey. This one is the sherry cask. Okay. This is nice. Which is very good. <laughs> so I saw the snowflake. Where is Jungle Gym's down in He's Cincinnati. actually at a um, tasting tonight. So uh, I think he. He's on. He's yeah. on right now. But he's out um, of tasting because I saw him say something about the SMWS booth was the shiznit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's tasting. So 
I'm not sure if he'll do after show. We may go a little long, Michael. See what happens. Well, Lockney's just told him to get his ass home. <laughs> That's what he was told. <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly, I think this is really enjoyable. I mean, yeah. I gotta, it's got a full body character. We gotta pull some flavor, but it's got a clean finish to it, which I kind of like. It's not cloyingly sweet. It's got a nice sweet nope. character to it. Yeah, exactly. It's a nice um, calm. But, but it's yeah, but it, it it's got a multi nose. Nice. Yeah, I like this one. I'm getting some sherry cask or something in this because I'm getting that sweetness that that mm-hmm. is purely the casking, which I don't know what it is, but it is it's it's completely different than that yellow label. It is super super smooth. Like yeah. It's it just a easy? delicious whiskey. I mean, um, you know it, you said it, or never or had one. And I can tell you, if you poured me this and didn't tell me any better, I'd think it was a scotch. Oh, sure it's uh, absolutely. Like, it's, like, a, it, it, like a sweet Highland. Sure. It, it, wow, can, it competes no. all day with that, which makes me want to go to the distillery. It's a little more accessible than getting over to Scotland. You know what I mean? Right. But I, I um, know where Colorado's at, man. Well, I know where Colorado's <laughs> at. And, 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 and I know somebody out there now. I'd pick up the phone and call Wes and be like, hey, dude, we're going to see this distillery. I know you've been there probably a dozen times, but we're going again right now. I've been out there for a while, but I'd go, man. I have a feeling so right. would he. I don't know what it is. Something tells hey, me he goes once a year at least. least. We need to get down to, uh, what was it, Copper Fox? Yeah, we'll make it down there. Maybe it's the I'd like you down there. Copper. Where's that at? It was copper. Copper box, yeah. Okay. I, I, this uh, is really enjoyable. I, I, like I mean, this. it's, well, yeah. Well, okay, hey guys, I'm looking online at the pictures. I'm looking online at the pictures I took of uh, Wes's bottles, and that's a t- the, uh, the, 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 the 2015 release. It was a team. So, and it does just say it's the silver label, it's the snowflake, and it does just say Colorado whiskey mm-hmm. compared to the cask thief the one that uh we reviewed separately the cab uh, cabernet franc finished one and it says single malt whiskey much like the uh sherry cask one so they are different whiskeys that they're doing okay so they're just mixing it up and seeing what what sticks kind of yeah and what they do with the with the snowflake each year is different finishes and then they name them differently as well because i know he also had a uh, 750 of the 2017 snowflake that was the bomb that was the little bottle that he shared the no, week no that's the cask thief the cask thief the thank you yes yeah Wow! Oh, hell, I was gonna grab one of those that, before we that. One to that one stole the show. That cask thief was really good. Isn't that the one he said he took like all his family He's members? And he got four bottles of it. Or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you're only two and you can't walk. Shut up and quit crying. <laughs> Daddy's paying for this. Shut up. <laughs> Drew's about to drop the mic over here. Oh man! He, he pulled the. Uh, he opened his bottle. Did you open it? I yeah. opened it. So, you Scott, you have a bottle of this uh, oh, in the dark of the era? abyss as well, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, I, that's what I thought you guys were drinking earlier. That's what right. I said. I was, so, yeah, he was drinking. That's what I thought you guys had. So that's what I was this drinking. This is, this is, all kinds of stuff. This <laughs> is one that, that was in the lineup that Ben uh, gave yes. us a tasting on, right? That's so, what, this is what sold me. And, and um, I, I remember what I liked about it so much was it reminded me of the Deeds in 20. I mean, just the whole... The nose and the palate was delicious on it, and, the, and the, the whole freaking cherry on it, it's just, it's unbelievable. So, if, I don't know, we actually, we, we did record that, Scott. We have it on GoPro. Um, I don't know if Drew's had a chance to look at the video, if it's worth it's anything. Good. If it's, it's really if good. If it's doable. Um, if so, we're going to figure something out with that, but. Um, <laughs> whoa, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I don't hear anything in my glass. Yes, newbie. Thank you, sir. for the newbie, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. 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 I need something to toast with, though. You know what I'm saying? There's an open right bottle. Here. But what I was saying, Scott, is at our table, while while he was going through that, I, have a little water. We, I actually sort of took a score. I, I wrote down and, and had each person at our table rank the, the bottles to see what was what. Now, unfortunately, I didn't write down all the information down about each of the bottles. Ben was going through them a little too fast for my hand. But... Um, mm-hmm. There was one guy at our table that was kind of like the outlier. I mean, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. So no, two, two to your right. 
Oh, so yeah, I mean, awesome. all of us, we, we were all pretty pretty well on the same page. I mean, maybe one off here or there, but this the, this oh, one guy on our table oh. was completely and utterly like... It's like caramel corn. 180 That's degrees awesome. from everybody else. <laughs> it was kind of fun because so, we, like, we actually talked through each of them as a table. So if you if you would have stood up and said, I want a, a grade from each table, we were kind of ready for that. But I did that just because I thought it would be fun for them to go through the process. Um Smell? That was a really cool time. I, I really enjoyed that. It got a little loud in the room yeah, at times. Definitely but the second one. What do you expect? You got like ten tables of six or eight people per table that are trying wow. whiskeys and they want to talk about them. Hell yeah! It was a really good range of bended as far as from I the, just want to breathe this. The root, the right. res to the peat, everything. He did a really good job, and it was all over the place in the right so, order, which right. was kind of odd right. because it wasn't. He, he didn't do it just on age order. He did it. He did it on palate order. You know, I don't want to. Great job. He did. He he did a really good job. Um, it was really fun. Good conversations for sure at our table. This is really yeah, kind of surprised me that we started off with the twenty-one-year-old whiskey. I know that, that's what no. shocked me. Like he started like, off with really? the thing. I'm like, that's where, where you're you going go from there. <laughs> but you know, that just shows his experience. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to present these whiskeys to people so that you can enjoy them um, individually. And, and he knows the palate, which is you know good wow. for him. Welcome in the jungle. Wow! All Did right, you KB, have some of that yet, Bob? You asked for it. All right. So here's the thing. Before I tasted this and smelled it, what you want? Water, please. I was thinking Drew was crazy for buying a membership just to buy a bottle, right? Because that's <laughs> why I use Mark. <laughs> Not Every, to put too fine a point on it, but that's how this all goes. Everybody down. uses Mark. I can't Mark. wait for Mark anymore. Now, now, after tasting this bottle, I totally would have just thrown money on the table that's and said, exactly whatever you want, just like, give me a bottle just of give that. Me, give it to me tomorrow. Uh, you need more money? I, I've got more. <laughs> I will find more. It's I cool. Find more. Oh, this is, this uh, is caramel corn. It's so caramel good. Corn. Wow. I mean, I mean Scott caramel has a bottle right salt. now. He's drinking it. So it's obviously, got salt, but caramel, great minds think alike, right? It's <laughs> all of it. That's ridiculous. But then you drink it, and it's got like a butter toffee. So and what do we got here? There's all kinds. Of what, what are they saying? Sixty point six ABV. Peanut brittle. There's wow. peanut brittle. Well, you got to put it up to the camera so people can see because we're tasting a unique bottle that nobody can. So else KB, can get. you have to buy this bottle. It is delicious. I mean, or we'll, we'll just bring you some. Or we'll, we'll, we'll bring you some too. That's, that's legal it. also. You want to do it? So I'm getting a little sulfury on it though. Uh, just a touch. <laughs> if you're getting sulfur, I know I will. Just a touch. There's, it's almost complimentary though. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it, it, There's it, nothing it's, wrong it's well with it. Well balanced with the with the caramel corn. I mean, it's almost know. like you get sweet, you get corn, you get all that. I mean, it it, it you're right. It's not bad sulfur. So Jason it's said uh, that the 21 was his least favorite at the of the five. Really? Yeah. So you had to order? Yeah, I do. What did I do? So I I, if if Jason or Scott, if you guys know the actual order, the the bottles. Um, uh, in their order, I just wrote down the order numbers. If you can see from the folks on my table, right? So, Drew, you were sitting next to me. Your order was three, mm. two, one, four, five. That's, that was three. Right. Two what? Three, two, one, four, five. So, so the twenty-one-year-old was right choice. dead middle. Right. Um, I went two, four, one, three, five. So um, this one was second to last for me because of the sulfur note. We're interested. Go! Oh. What's KB hey, doing? Hey, hey, hey. Cheers. 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 I'm surprised KB. KB didn't say, I already have three of those bottles. Right. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Bob sir. said he was drinking KBs. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually awesome. only 500 yeah. bottles. So I, I'm proud to admit I'm a dummy. I have a flavor wheel in front of me. Oh, that's so good. When I'm tasting new whiskey, it's the best way for me to really pull out the different flavors and notes and things. You know, and get that in. You. So the sulfury comes out. A little bit of cereal that's a corn that. Oh. So if, if we were to put on this wheel out. with a sugar, where would that sugar be? I would love to see other comments. I'm, I'm getting guy, a lot of stuff in this one. Area. Toasted, so, like like the guys sticky pudding. At the event, had this one. But if custard. you guys at home had this bottle, I would love to hear so, your comments on this one. Butterscotch. So Let me say something, Drew. Yeah. So. When we tasted it at the at the tasting, you got in mind we're getting really small pours, mm -hmm. so you have enough to wet your palate a couple times. You definitely don't have enough to put any water on it. So True. I'm, you should have been at my tasting. 
I'm excited about. <laughs> honestly, I poured myself enough to have a, a wet my palate with it, but I want to put a drop on. I want to see what it does to this whiskey because I didn't have a chance to do that during the tasting. So, because um, it, it's definitely much stronger on the nose when you get a healthy pour as opposed to a, a real you know fine pour and a different this shape glass. I can get my nose. Around. I can get in no. this thing. You know, it's pretty hot. Oh, yeah, it's freaking damn near it's 60. 60.6, for gosh sakes. So what did you think about this one, Scott? What's your, what was your notes and flavor? I don't think you may have moved on by now, but... Uh... No, this this was my favorite. This was my favorite of the night. Really? So, okay. just, yeah, just, I mean, even for an 11-year-old, just the sherry. Right. No, I mean, you're getting all the classic Oloroso sherry notes here, all the plums, the raisins. You get There is a little bit of sulfur. I get a little bit of smoke as well. Maybe might just be barrel char. Maybe it's peat. Could be. Maybe. Uh, just a just a faint trace of it. It, it could I just be it. alcohol heat. For it's sixty point six percent. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little, little bit of spice with it. But I've got. I'll, I'll tell you too. I have probably several drops of water to mine to bring it down to where I. I and like and that's where I'm going to go. About 50%. I don't, so as, as sensitive as I am to the sulfur, it's not like I get a ton of it to where, I, I mean, nowhere near like a McKellen 12 level. I, it's 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 faint, but I get it. Well, I use that. At the atomic level. No, no to me, that's that's a, a good bar because everybody's right. had McKellen 12. Everybody, you know, that's kind of the standard for me. But I, I get it in there. But it's I, I'm really curious to see what this does to it. You said you put a healthy pour of water on it? I'm afraid it's gonna yeah. poison uh-huh. the, the yeah. sweetness. Man, it's done. sixty point six for God's sake. Yeah, but I'm good with it right where it's at. But you know what? I'm I, happy. I added a drop of water to it, and it, the, it for some reason the heat just built. It's like all alcohol now. Interesting, really. Okay. So I'm gonna have to continue. You know what that says? Pull your kilt down and go for another. <laughs> so the next thing I'm, I'm I was adding do more, that anyway. I'm adding more water to try and bring it past that point. But there's got to be more in it. It was. It was, I think it was well ba- fairly Ooh. Oh, well here's some balanced. picks. So Jason what? said four, five, three, two, one. Four, five, three, Bot two, four, one. Bought four and five. Man, Jason, <laughs> you, you went the, all in, was dude. Was it the one? Was it Glenn Grant? Jason, he was, he's totally off of our whole table. I don't know. Was he in the same he, room? I don't know where he was at. <laughs> That's awesome. I love so it. So what four and five? What, what were the... Hang on. I don't, I didn't write all that down. We'd have to look uh, at the video. Four, have, four was the, um. He, he kept saying Croftinja, which is uh, one of the sister yeah. uh, distilleries of Loch Lomond, was it? Yep. No, that was this one. That was this the one. 50, the 15 year? Uh, I don't know. I thought, this, I thought that was this one right here. Uh, no, no. Oh, that's, okay. the, that's the Glenn, Glenn Talk. So, oh, gotcha. Wes, three well, uh, bought, four bought. Four, it, was, it was the next to the last <laughs> one. Yeah, and it really surprised me as well before the heavily peated uh, Buna Hobbit. We have not tried the 7841, but it's right here. So and who's telling us to do that? Has that been, uh, was that a... The guy who sent us the 7841. So, Wes bought the three, <laughs> this one. Bob H. And he bought the four, which you just said was the... Quote, so, yeah, Bahania. I mean... Bitter chocolate. I've got it here. I wish I would have taken a bigger poll. I did our table, you guys. I, I wish I would have wrote more numbers down from other tables because watching, looking, and reading Whiskey Scout, Jason, and Wes's numbers, man, they, we, we really were all over the board. Our table was pretty consistent. We had one outlier, but even that's totally different from what Jason and Wes nice. is putting and, and Whiskey Scout. Did you get the leftover, Holy Scott? Cow. <laughs> Let's just say there's benefits to hosting a tasting. Benefits. Ooh, benefits. benefits. I like that. Benefits. I, 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 I mean, just going back and get bottle after Dad bottle joke. after the, bottle. The, the, first one, the, the first one of the night was the 21-year-old Glenn Grant. That was the Glenn right. Grant, yes. Um, and yeah, nothing yeah. wrong with it. It's a 21-year-old that was bourbon cask finished yeah. had that been sherry finished i think Very, we all would have oh, fell yeah. over yeah. <laughs> the uh number four that he's talking about was the uh, smolder and solder 15 year old uh Loke loman sister distillery croft that's we right like, we've that's never right. even heard of that that distillery. was number four yeah yeah so that was my number two pick the fifth one of the night was the uh, nine-year-old heavily peated bunahab and delicious sear and sizzle that's your real house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was good. Yeah, it was, it was good. 
<laughs> no, wait a minute. The second <laughs> bottle, the second <laughs> bottle was the Glen, the, the Lac, Lac Le Mans? No. Oh. That was the Fair first. enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting That's confused. Yeah, I'm getting confused. That's all. What was the second one? Well, the the second one of the night was the 17-year-old Alt, Altmore. Okay. That was my number one pick. Really? Yep. And it had a sherry, a slight sherry finish, not as heavy as the Glen, the 11-year-old Glen Talkers. A little bit smoother, a little bit lighter, a little bit right. you in the I, I I lied, you guys. I got them all written down with all my notes. I'm I'm a nerd. What is that? Here, yeah, I got it all right here, Scott. Um, wow. One was the nine point one four eight twenty one year old. Two was oh, the seventy three point nine eight seventeen year old. Three was the sixty three point four nine. Is your real house? This is That's it. Good. Drew's done. He's like, That's just pour shit. me another bottle. Uh, I'm so glad you have a bottle of this, dude. I, you so just went out. I want to ask Scott. You grew up. My boy. My boy. <laughs> so I was barely awake when you went live on Sunday with Bart. I was trying to stay awake watching your show, and it was a long day Sunday. Really? And, uh, you know, I know. Uh, I think you're probably the same same uh, subject as us as far as your favorite thing from from your whole anniversary get together. But just for for our people watching right now, give us a recap of what you know what you thought was one of your favorite things about the whole event. I, I really like Saturday afternoon hangout at the hotel, just doing the different live streams, shooting the different videos, really just hanging out there, the interaction with everybody. To me, that I, that was the best part, and we should have had more of that. I felt. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Even Frank coming on on the, on the Green Label thing, I thought, you know, it was kind of crazy with our review, but it was actually really cool because it kind of just shows you everybody just kind of being connected and talking about what's going on. And then he comes out, you know, hey, you guys are doing Johnny Walker. Look at me. I got Green Label right here. And it was a perfect segue into our review. So it, I, trying to show it was right. It was really cool. <sighs> I um actually Scott, I got to get together with you uh, and grab your cell. I've got, I got a ton of pictures. I mean, I was just grabbing pictures randomly. You know, I, I walking around whether it was at the hotel or at at the restaurant or at the barbecue place. You can just be like, you know, what, grab a picture of this, grab a picture of that. And whether it's a bottle or a group of people, and I got a couple of pictures of you guys all sitting around that fireplace out at the barbecue place. Um, you know, smoking a stogie and, and having a glass. And, just stuff I want to make sure you guys get because you guys need to catalog. You need to you need to capture it all and, and wrap it all that was a up. Good time. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't even I didn't do as much social media stuff as I normally do or should have done just because. No, you did right. You did right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was busy talking to people, setting yeah. stuff up, you know, doing this and that, and using and OBS. That. Really, I, I chose I just I chose not to. Uh, spend as much time on getting stuff out on social media. I knew everybody else was, so I was really kind of dependent and counting on that. So I let you guys roll with that. <laughs> and and I did. I honestly, I was I was making conscious efforts of saying, you know what, Scott and Bart want want this. They they're going to need a picture of this. They want to they want to see this. I mean, you guys were busy. You guys were. It's like a wedding. Yeah. Right? You, you guys were being socialites. Oh, you guys no, he's texting us too. Did you smell it? Smell it. Oh, it's ridiculous. Is this open it's, yet? Yeah, crazy. He made me open it. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> it smells. Oh, did you pour it? Yeah. Beautiful. So oh, what we're we're getting nice. ready to pour now is I don't know uh, how many of you guys are really familiar <laughs> with KB <laughs> and Bob. Yeah, you're not H. working tomorrow, are you? Yeah. Um, right. Scott, no, I, I don't know if you know these two guys too. They live out uh, on the East Coast in New York City. Um, they have fallen in love with the like SMWS as most for good reason. Guys. And yeah. I, I actually threatened. I, I told, told Ben while we were out in Kansas City. I'm like, you better be careful because I think these two guys are looking. They're gonna own you soon. <laughs> like, <laughs> if they don't own you, you they're gonna you own out. all your whiskey. I mean, <laughs> what, you know. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> and that's all good. They make sure they have backups to backups. Oh. The backup for the back. Well, I mean, look at some of the things they've shared with us. I mean, I, it's just amazing. So it is a Ben Nevis. Is it? Yeah. Remember how we hated that one Ben Nevis we sent to Scott? Smell that. <laughs> That's because he you smelled that. I liked that one. That was good. That Scott was like liked turpentine. It. it was like Acetone. freaking nail polish for me. I couldn't do it. So I even this got the sherry. I was like, there's a sherry finish on this one. I can get it in there. You had to really look for it. <laughs> Drew, 
So that is your wheelhouse, my friend. That's a really good, good bottle. I, I, that's I, a I honestly, really good bottle. I mean, uh, it's almost like last weekend. There was a couple of times just where I drank this. something and I thought right, of Mike. Like I'm like, bourbon up. shenanigans would love this. I drank this. I think you. I'm like, that's Drew, right? You know, there's it's times when I have a glass of something and it, oh, this is okay. Andrew. I mean, that that would have You need to create the shirt. So, what is that to you? What, what's my so bottle, man? Scott even reached over all of them when I was drinking. The <laughs> <pleasure> <laughs> that's <laughs> mine. I'm not gonna be proud of you right now. I'm like, I, yeah, I, I was. I did when I saw that. I was like, Water. I saw you holding the bottle. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's was. There's, there's some toast in here. I so, would. Uh, Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 good lord, man. We already got this scotch that we got to drink. Oh. <laughs> it's a, but it's cheers a to you, nose. sir. I think the finish is great. I can't good. wait to come out to New York. Dude, uh, that's going to be so I much don't, fun. I hope you're ready, man. It, you better start training. Really <laughs> but before, right before we get to come out to you, what do we have going on here? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, we haven't talked Talk, about that we yet. We need to talk about this. this yeah, you do. Since it's... I am. No, no. Telex right. is not going to be on tonight. No, is that right? Put back here in my all right, Telex, are you on? No, nobody tasted mine. Let's. Oh my uh, gosh, that is. Mine. All right, so let's. let's we'll let, let's talk about what we have going on on the thirtieth of November. Thirtieth okay. of November, a little something, something. It is. It is not nearly as elaborate and, and expansive as what the Scotch Test Dummies. Well, doing. no, that was a whole weekend that event. Was that weekend. was. Yeah, yeah. That was a big great celebration. event. Definitely travel. Uh, this is, uh, we've been oh. working on a couple of ideas, and this is the first one to come to fruition, right? Um, there's more. We, we've, we've got a couple coming up really but soon. But the first one is a Highland Park meat and peat dinner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Which if you guys awesome. haven't checked it out, go to the website, that's click on the buy tickets, even if you're not ready to buy tickets, because that's the whole description of everything. I'll tell you what, it's going to be. Yeah, that's the, the menu. Sean put so up. When, this is a game dinner, man. So, it's going to be awesome. So we're starting at 6.30 at night. We'll probably go to about 10 or 11. Uh, we're starting off with a welcoming cocktail. Uh, it's going to be made with Highland Park Magnus. We're doing a Rob Roy, so basically an old-fashioned. Um, and then you're going to have a first course of smoked game meats and artisan cheeses. Smoked game meats. And that's going to be paired with HP 18, so it, it, it's crappy, right? <laughs> Uh, the second course is going to be wild boar meatballs with a uh, apricot glaze. Not wild boar balls. And no, <laughs> that's D- different. D- and uh, caramelized rogue creamery, rogue river blue cheese. Which, if you've never had it, it is ridiculous. <laughs> it I'm going to take your word for it, Sean. I'm going to yeah. <laughs> yes. No idea. It's, it's, sure. it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. Amazing. It is amazing. And that's going to be paired with Highland Park full volume. So and Scott, then you should come. By the way, third course is going to be uh, grilled Spanish. Iberico pork loin. Uh, so that's the Blackfoot pork. Uh, and that's going to be with a wild mushroom jus. And that's paired with the Highland Park the dark. That is my favorite of the dark and light. And then we are going to do Highland Park Dude. Valkyrie for our closing course. And that's going to be paired with a uh, sticky pudding with a caramelized orange sauce. Oh my gosh, just like On top of that, on top of that, you get a bottle of Highland Wait, Park Magnus. Wait, there's more. <laughs> You get a bottle of Highland Park. If you Magnus, act now, you get a Highland Park Glencarn glass, and you get yep. a a special Scotch for Dummies bottle hanger. Yeah, special we're gonna, one. We're gonna and gonna, we're going to do a different. live show from the event after the tasting. We're going to go so live for an hour. Where do I go to get the tickets? You go to the website www.scotchfordummies.com. Uh, in the there's top a, nav bar, there's, there's a link. A tickets nav in the nav bar. Yep. And pay with credit card. All, pay all with you PayPal. need to know is Tom R is coming. So you know. Eric Wade no, is coming. Eric, Eric Wade, Wade is, is coming. Flying in Nightbot's coming. Count, Nightbot yeah, is coming. Nightbot <laughs> will be dressed and ready. So it, it's going to be an awesome evening. So if you guys are anywhere Scott close to Indianapolis, will be there. it'll be awesome. Come on, Scott. Put the cherries Wait. on the car and drive out. You know, I'm actually got a trip planned the next weekend going to uh, Iron Root down in Denison, Texas. Oh, okay. Dog. Well, Scott, you know what we all need to plan is a uh, bourbon trail trip. Yeah, we do. Yep. That's it. Just come on up. Don't be caught at the bourbon trail. You bourbon. can take us down to the bourbon trail and teach us all about these bourbons. Uh, we, we've got a couple people that have invited us. In fact, uh, my restaurant's bought multiple casks of whiskey. Uh, so we, we can, should be able to we get can a just go behind the scenes that. and just go check out a bunch of cool stuff. On, It'll be man. awesome. Yeah, I have that Knob Creek still. I don't want to drink anything it's out of a stuff, glass. Man. I just want to drink it out of a wooden cast. Right? Just, 
That's why you I'm don't even need a ladle. <laughs> just, just roll the cast towards me. <laughs> Come on, I can take it. <laughs> Drop it right here. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to end up, but uh, it'll be all good, man. What's uh, how much are the tickets to that? That really sounds like a good one. Ninety bucks. Ninety bucks. It's uh, one forty for uh, a couple. In case there's couples that come, and they, you know they don't need two bottles, and, and they can double down on certain things. But uh, ninety bucks for for the whole kit and caboodle. I'm gonna call Richie Z right now. You should get your ass here. What? You should come. You're you all should, the place. Dude. You need to be here, man. We we need. I know. Be talking world. to him. Dude, so all yeah. All over the world, man. Just come on out and have a good game dinner. I mean, this is going to be bad. What kind of game are we talking about? So we're probably doing. We're going to do all kinds of stuff. We'll probably do pheasant. We'll probably do elk. Um, we may do. We may do quail. I don't. I don't know yet. We we got a brand new smoker, so we may go crazy. I. Um, this is going to be really, really good. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I and you're, you're leaving well, with a bottle of scotch. What, what happened was a, a, a two glass. things. Uh, first thing was the the ambassador came and wanted to do a dinner, which is awesome. Uh, the second thing that happened was uh, I went with uh, two of the chefs to a um, a food show. Oh, up in which Chicago. Normally, I got to tell you, if you are not in the industry, food shows are usually pretty boring. It's a lot of like French fries and how they all crunch, right? <laughs> and it's pretty boring stuff. This one, though, was all like artisan cheeses and like I, there was a whole row of oysters. So I probably ate like I don't know how many oysters I ate. It was a ridiculous amount of oysters. Um, but you get to go through and sample all this stuff. And we got. Uh, uh, cardinal prawns, which is most expensive shrimp in the world. We're serving those at the restaurant this week. They're awesome. Four dollars a shrimp. <laughs> We're serving those. I'll, 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 I'll take two. Uh, Whiskey uh, Scout sale. wants to know when will the last day be to get a ticket. Um, I would buy sooner you, rather than later. When the last ticket sells out. Yep. So we've got but seventy tickets. On that yep. note, listen, buddy. I know you're out in Kansas. I know you. T- we talked about this in your work schedule and with the weather and everything. You just you, we keep in touch, brother. Ben is on. We'll, we'll make it work. Do ben whatever can make you it want. <laughs> oh, uh, do whatever you want. Ben needs to get his butt down here for this ben HP should, taste. He's only three hours away. He should be uh, carpool no. with Tom. Tom wants ground camel hump tartar. <laughs> <laughs> now, which is funny because. <laughs> For two reasons. Number one, uh, when I was at the food show, one of the places specialized in in wild game, and they had ridiculous. Like if you want water buffalo or you know kangaroo or whatever, like they they carry it. It's like an Australian cow, right? It's like an Australian cow. <laughs> what do you I know? You know, but but they had they had ground camel actually out. That was one of their samples, which I didn't try. I've, I've eaten a lot of weird stuff, but camel isn't one of them. Um, you should have. I've actually never even heard of uh, cam- ground camel. Oh, yeah. There, there's actually a meat farm for camel. I don't know if they're one hump or two hump camels. I have no idea. Hump day! Uh, I don't think it matters. <laughs> hump day! <laughs> I, I've eaten a lot of weird stuff at food shows. I tried a, I ate a uh, steak that was 120 days old that had been aging for 120 days in a dry aging facility. So basically rotten. No, soft. <laughs> Isn't that what a you, zombie is? You can cut soft? it with a fork, man. It was surrounded with Himalayan salt slabs, and it was good. It, all right, you know, it was, right. I didn't pay for it. It was all good. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but but right. this meal will be off the chain. Uh, so I'm I'm really excited about it. So if you are anywhere close to Indy, or even if you're not close to Indy and you want to come, uh, go get a ticket because it's going to be really cool. I cannot wait. Good, good food. Plus, you get us walking around the room talking and, to everybody. And, and uh, the hotel afterwards, too, right? We're going to try and get together and have a social. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that, it's, that's going to be involved. And then uh, that following, what, Sunday, we leave for New York? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, we got so, a busy five days. Hey, uh, Bob and, and Katie. Put the word in the streets. This, um, this 78. 78- 41. Can you confirm? Only 1,002 hosts left in the, the world. ADD, yeah. Is it 57.1? Cows are not marsupials. Because <laughs> they're fast. So, Ben, yes, this is, you are late for the gold reserve tasting. Yes, Ben. Uh, we save we, some of that gold reserve for you when you come down because... <laughs> that guy. So, Ben, we were talking... I was talking about that earlier. I, 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 you know, I was watching the review and... 
Where did you, you say? Where did you so get this? So this this tastes like an entry level. Yeah, plain too. I wouldn't pay much for this. I, the you know, there's so much better entry yeah. level scotch is available. Or you really should be drinking this one. And then he's like, Cross oh, okay. that's an 18 year old, or that's no, it's a non age, but it's 60 bucks. Well, you know who needs to I come down do for this dinner is Ben. ben I know it's not an SNWS sanctioned event, Which but well, you sense. know what I mean. Ben obviously Unless works for SMWS, and I think he's doing uh, an awesome job. Awesome. He's definitely taking the SMWS to the next level. But Ben's also a whiskey lover before SMWS. I mean, Single Malt Alliance is his Instagram handle. If you don't know that and you aren't following him on Instagram, you need to because he's got 35,000 followers. I mean, he's not a new guy to this game. He, he obviously has a lot of experience I'm and um, yours off, Ben right? you need to go and read the comments from the gold um, tasting that we did that we posted uh, when did we post that was that month? it was yesterday day before uh, there's a lot of comments Ben, and some of them are literally directed at you I want you, you to go out there and read them your your yeah go out yeah. there and, and answer some of them and talk to folks because they, they, so. they do want to talk to you um, but as far as this particular SMWS that we're, we're, we're hitting, this is from Bob or KB, one of the two. I don't know. We'll just say Bob and KB. Um, what do you guys think about this? I just poured it in my glass. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> I get uh, butter toffee right on the nose right you, off the bat. What are you drinking, Scott? Have you moved on? I went to the uh, port. I had the strand of hand sherry cask here, so... Since I had the 11 year cast strength Glen Talker Sherry Bomb, I went to the Stranahan's next to see how it fares. Of course it just is. sucks when you don't have options, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, speaking, <I> of, uh, <laughs> speaking of Sherry Cask, uh, I got Mike the uh, Rabbit Hole Sherry Cask coming. Have you had that one? Rabbit Hole? Where they put it on the rabbit? Right. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good exactly. question. Exactly. Amen. <laughs> Bravo. We yeah, have a Bravo. winner, Scott. <laughs> Did you enjoy it, Scott? I, I haven't had Rabbit Hole, so I have no idea. No, I yeah, I haven't either. I, I keep seeing it, but I haven't. Well, I've got the it, bourbon so. cask and I've got the sherry cask, so if you want them both, I, we can do that. I, I, you can throw that out on your Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram. I thought you were talking about another smoked meat you was having at the game convention. Right. There. Oh, do, you, do you want me to have more? We can do that. Yes, we're going to serve no. a smoked Rabbit Hole. We we just we just end up throwing stuff out there. If, if I made rabbit hole, wow. you'd eat it. You kind of <laughs> screw the lid back on. <laughs> you guys have never turned down anything I've ever cooked. Nope, never. <laughs> never. No idea for that. Boys, the wheels are officially off. It's fifteen after. Well, yeah, wow, but, how'd that happen? I mean, I Telex is nowhere near. I, I think he's. He's at an event. He's at an event, so he's. I don't think he's going live tonight. So. I didn't get any notification no, that he's he was not going, going on. So he was going to try to go earlier before us, but it didn't happen. So. But Andrew wants to watch Kung Fu. So Hustle. Whiskey Ace is, is right. <laughs> so I mean, that's kind of one of the neat things about doing, you know, an SMWS thing is the fact that you can get into a distillery that might not bottle right out of the distillery. They're they're doing it out of independent bottlers, or it's going into blends. So. Um, Definitely, the SMWS is going to offer you in, you know access into that. Not not that often. I mean, it's few and far between on some of the distilleries because some of the distilleries are pretty tight with their juice. You know, I mean, let's they, say Eden Mill. Right. Eat, well, Eden mm -hmm. Mill. That's the newest one. That's the newest one out there, right? Hold on a second. Why wow, I was super down on the Longro 18. This is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what? What? This, what? This, I'm confused. Why were you mean? down on the long? I mean, that's like. What is he amazing? What is amazing? <laughs> I don't understand I don't the comment. Know. I was super down on the longer 18. This is amazing. What is it? Well, you you got to give us more than that. Right. I mean, Scott's for genius is good to see you. We need to roll that guy. Scott for genius. Yeah, right on Scott for genius. Or Glenn Grant 18. Ben Dietrich. I like how the right side of the screen, there are five guys with one whiskey, but on the left side. <laughs> There's one guy with five whiskeys. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. Don't Here, be here's the obvious, thing. Okay? <laughs> There's just five guys. We just kill the whiskeys way too fast. That's, we, the, that's the problem. There's one guy there. Scott There's just five put guys another here. one up. It's well, like putting the goat in with the Tyrannosaurus. That's it. Right? I saw the movie. The you know what I'm saying? Thing. Where'd the goat go? <laughs> it was just there. 
I literally responded to a, a comment right. today with a movie quote, and I told sure him to get extra credit. Finish. They tell me what movie it's from. <laughs> so, okay, to be fair, when I first had the 18, it was super watery. Tonight, I uh, had it after some other whiskeys in a while. Yeah, it's... Yeah. That's the one I brought home from... Um, Cadenheads. Yeah, you, yeah, you bought that at Cadenheads. I bought it immediately after I had a glass. That I'm like, was it's coming fantastic. home with me. It was good. I mean, we had... We had already had a couple of whiskeys that day, yeah. but uh, I mean, just a couple. We sampled a no couple in Cadenheads too, and you didn't. You didn't hesitate. It was like, pull it. Okay. I want that. That's the you one. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Love it for sale. That was a, that was a great time in there. So this is um this is interesting. So here I am sitting here. We got this much left over. This sherry monster. It's something. delicious. I do love it, but I I also have something in mind for for this this wee bit. So, um, if you okay. guys aren't dying for it, yeah. um, I think we need to do the right thing. I want to say, uh, before we close off, thanks, Scott, for joining tonight. Heck, what's, yeah. What's going on with you? What's going up in the future? Yeah. I, know you, I know you're kind of resting right now, but what's uh, what's in store for you guys for the next uh, couple of months? Anything big? So, you know, surprisingly, after the weekend, we thought we would take some time off. <laughs> We've already started planning for next year. Uh oh. Woo, annual event. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Other, you know, Maybe. we just don't have. Um, we got uh, invited down to Texas in December. This was this weekend was the big event. So until it got passed, we were kind of falling a little bit on stuff. We've got uh, we got another event in February slash slash March that uh, we're not saying too much on yet. We got invited to. Um, across the pond, basically. Whoa, nice. Oh my nice. God! Amen for you guys. Go. Congratulations. Go. Yeah. Spain. That, that'll be the next two things. <laughs> Spain. Probably in Spain. The Spain is known Spain for their whiskey. Spain has lost guys. They're known for their whiskey. In Spain. I like Spain's your time in Greece. <laughs> hey, those Greeks know how to drink. It's, it's a it's a exclusive paella. <laughs> Hey, who doesn't want paella? Man? Well, I can say this, Scott. If anybody's watching, anybody's listening, and, and they have an opportunity to go to any of these events that you guys are, are talking just about, attending, go. just go. Just I go. mean, it, it, not just to go and hang out with the test dummies, but all the people that come. It was an incredible time, Scott, hanging out with everybody that came. I mean, honestly, there wasn't a bad conversation. It's it's really kind of weird to be hanging around with that many people that have a passion about whiskey like you do, you know, I mean, it was just one of those, you can have a really good conversation and who knows what's going to be in your glass, but whatever it is, you're going to enjoy it. And it was really fun. That's what I'm hoping well, for with this you know, park. Being in the, I think one of the, the, not necessarily a problem, but a drawback is we're, I mean, we're central, we're in, right in the middle of the United States. Right. Yeah. But... No good access. We're right in the middle of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 it takes a hell of a long time to get there. <laughs> That's so damn true. <laughs> so it's kind of like, how do we get people here? Which is what we already started talking about. Move here. So, we'll, uh... Bourbon we'll Trail. guys updated. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> hey, Kentucky's good. Chicago's good. Chicago's good. Again, too. Bourbon Trail's hard to get to as well yeah. from the coast. Yeah. That's true. Well, well, guys, appreciate your time tonight. I'm not, I'm going to call it right now. Drew's pulling the plug. Drew's calling it. I mean, we were ready to pull an all-nighter. I'm going to pull it. Hey, you if you haven't tomorrow? yet, like Nightbite says, please Maybe click not. the like button. It helps us <laughs> a lot. Appreciate it. These guys, the wheels are way off right now. So I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it right now. So uh, you guys are the best. Thanks so much. Scott, we had a great time with you last night. Cheers, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody that super tuned, chat us, thank you very much. Thank we you really so much, it, everybody. We, we appreciate it. Good show tonight, guys. Cheers to us. Cheers. 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 Catch bourbon shenanigans on Instagram. Instagram. See you, Bob. See you, KB. Cheers. Cheers.